what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? There's a new challenge on the app called TikTok. It's a social media app that is widely used by teenagers and young adults. The challenge is similar to others on the app in that it involves a particular song being played as the videos abruptly cut to different scenes. But unlike some in the past that have been rooted in fun, this new one seems to challenge users to come up with the worst racial stereotypes to point out and mock. And while black people are typically the targets of such racism, this time around, it also includes Asians. These TikTok videos are formatted by first asking an inviting question that is printed across the screen. That's followed by another message that says something along the lines of, now that you're here, before both coded messages finally reveal themselves to be a racist trope. Ironically, it was an Asian whose father forced her to apologize for a TikTok video she made playing on racial stereotypes about black people. She got on the video all teary-eyed. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Duh, duh, duh. I didn't know it was gonna be racist. I should have known the first, within the first few seconds that it was up. No fool, you should have known out the gate. I got some more irony for you. Asian people are stereotyped all over the world. You would think that she would be cognizant of offending others. Too much like right though. Who was she trying to impress? You can't blame this one on the parents. I do believe that the father was sincere when he said, I don't teach racism in my house. That ain't what I'm about. She knows better. This is one of the very few times I've seen a parent take responsibility for their child's actions, especially regarding racial issues. Usually little racist children and mom and dad ain't got nothing to say, not publicly. Oh, you know why? Because privately, they're probably patting them on the back. Good boy, good girl, just like I taught you. You did it just like I taught you. You never see the parents coming forward. Oh, but let somebody do something to their child. Their ass is all up in the front. It's World War III. See, silence is consent. When those kids, when those kids go out there and do wild things and do disrespectful things, racist stuff, and the parents are silent, you know they're complicit. You know they're down with the program. So I salute the father for at least making her apologize publicly. And not just making her apologize, but he put himself out there too. I salute that. No more talk. What the mate is talking about.